Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and keep believing. God bless you. I hope you're having a good day. So this morning I was in my kitchen and I heard a message from God that really stuck with me. He said that some people are going to be disappointed and at first I didn't know what he meant. But as the day went on, I started to understand the significance of this message. As I was making a video earlier today, I was talking about some challenges that I've been facing and how I've been trying to overcome them. I mentioned that there have been some people who have been coming against me and trying to bring me down, but I've been fighting back and standing strong. I said that these people are going to be disappointed because their efforts won't succeed. Later on in the day, as I was getting ready to go out and run some errands, God spoke to me again and repeated this message. They're going to be so disappointed. He also reminded me of a scripture in Proverbs that talks about how the foolishness of man ruins his own way and how people sometimes get angry with God when things don't go the way they wanted. God also emphasized the importance of perseverance to me. Perseverance is about continuing to push through no matter how many delays or obstacles come your way. The more we persevere, the more likely we are to receive our reward from God. God also brought up the message of love and positivity. He reminded me of scriptures in Proverbs, Timothy, Peter and James that talk about how important it is to keep a righteous heart and to try to fulfill the will of God. This means being cautious with the words we speak and the actions we take, and loving our brothers and sisters in Christ. The reason I'm sharing all of this with you is because I believe that this message is not just for me, but for you too. God kept repeating it to me, so I feel like he wants us to pay attention to it and to learn from it. Some people may have high hopes that 2023 will be a year of failure or disappointment for us, but I believe that with perseverance and a positive attitude, we will be able to succeed and overcome any challenges that come our way. I encourage all of you to keep this message in mind and to remember the importance of perseverance. No matter what delays or obstacles come our way, we can keep pushing through and striving for success. Let's keep our hearts positive and filled with love for one another and let's work together to fulfill the will of God. Also, as I was praying this morning, I felt the Lord speak to my heart about the power of perseverance. It's easy to get discouraged when things aren't going the way we had hoped, but the Lord reminded me that He is always with us and that no matter what challenges we face, we can choose to persevere through them. In fact, the Bible tells us in James 1.12 that blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. So let's choose to hold fast to our faith and trust in God, knowing that he is working all things for our good. Let's not let setbacks and disappointments define us but rather let set our perseverance and trust in the Lord shine as a beacon of hope to those around us. Remember the Lord is with us and he has a good plan for our lives, no matter what it may look like in the moment. As I reflected on the word perseverance, I couldn't help but think about all the times in my life when I had faced challenges and doubted my ability to overcome them. But through it all, the Lord has always been faithful to strengthen me and give me the courage to keep going. It's easy to let our circumstances dictate our attitudes and actions, but the truth is that we have the choice to persevere no matter what comes our way. The Apostle Paul writes in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Perseverance isn't about our own strength or determination, but rather it's about trusting in the Lord and his power to work in and through us. When we place our hope in him, we can have confidence that he will see us through any trial. It's important to remember that perseverance isn't a one-time decision, but rather it's a daily choice to trust in the Lord and keep moving forward, even when things are difficult. The journey of faith isn't always easy, 
but it's through the challenges that we grow and become more like Christ. One thing that has helped me in my own journey of perseverance is to focus on the things that are eternal rather than the temporary struggles of this world. The Bible tells us in Colossians 3.2, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. It can be tempting to give up when things don't go our way, but the Lord promises that he will never leave us or forsake us. He is with us every step of the way, and his love and grace are sufficient for us. Another way to persevere is to seek out the support and encouragement of others. The body of Christ is meant to lift each other up and bear one another's burdens. Galatians 6.2 Don't be afraid to reach out to a trusted friend or mentor for help and prayer. It's also important to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Hebrews 12.2 When we keep him at the center of our lives, it gives us the strength and perspective we need to persevere through even the toughest circumstances. Remember that God's timing is perfect, and he may allow certain challenges in our lives for a specific purpose. It may not be easy, but we can trust that the Lord has a plan and is working all things together for our good. Let's remember to give thanks in all circumstances. This doesn't mean we have to be thankful for the challenges themselves, but rather it's about recognizing that God is still in control and that he is using even the difficult times to shape and mold us into the people he has called us to be. Heavenly Father, as I think about the message you spoke to me this morning about perseverance, I am reminded of all the times you have been with me in my struggles and have given me the strength to keep going. Help me to remember that no matter what challenges come my way, I can trust in you and your power to work in and through me. I pray for the courage and determination to persevere through any delays or obstacles that may come my way. Help me to keep my eyes fixed on you, the author and perfecter of my faith, and to seek out the support and encouragement of others as I navigate the journey of faith. I also pray for a positive attitude and a heart filled with love for those around me. Help me to be cautious in my words and actions and to seek to fulfill your will in all that I do. Lord, I pray for those who may be feeling discouraged or defeated by the challenges they are facing. I pray that you would bring them hope and strength to persevere through their struggles. May we all remember that you are with us and that you have a good plan for our lives, no matter what it may look like in the moment. In your precious name, amen. Type yes if you believe in the Lord. Glorify the Lord by sharing this video today. Click here to watch this important message.